Giddens et al. does a fairly good job in introducing us to groups, networks, and organizations. In looking at organizations and bureaucracies, they note that all modern organizations are bureaucratic in nature. Formal organizations are designed to achieve ob objectives. They are housed in settings constructed to help realize aims, and they are important for providing most services in our daily lives, for example, hospitals, schools, and government organizations. Theories of organization. Characteristics of bureaucracy include a clearly defined system of hierarchy. There are written rules that govern conduct of officials at all levels. All employees are full-time and salaried. There is a separation between tasks within the organization and life outside of it. And finally, no member of the organization own the material resources with which they operate. Theories of organizations. Weber and Michaels identified tension between bureaucracy and democracy. democracy. On one hand, centralization of decision-making is associated with development of modern society. On the other hand, one of the main features of the past two centuries has been expanding pressures toward democracy. Beyond democracy? Technology and modern organization is now changing the way the organization works. Many tasks can now be done electronically, allowing organizations to transcend time and space. It allows for more flexibility within the organization. Organizations can now network with each other. They no longer have to operate as individual units. Organizations that span the world or global organizations. Two important forms of global organizations are the international governmental organization and international non-governmental organizations. The international governmental organizations are established by treaties among government for conducting business among member nations. The international non-governmental organizations are established by agreements among individuals or private organizations. Conclusion. How is social organization changing? While groups and organization remain central in our lives, group affiliation is in fact changing. We find now that the conventional groups are losing ground. The global economy and information technology are simply redefining group life. Our future could provide renewed communication and social intimacy or further isolation and social distance.